Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I want to show a couple of things in this video that are important for safety concerns when creating a system that runs off this high voltage radio frequency. Um, I, I don't think a lot of people would be aware that this radio frequency can travel quite a large distance and it literally tries to attach itself to objects of, of decent mass so um well of any mass basically so if i'll explain what this coil is here this uh, coil is a 100 turn bifiler winding uh, which basically means it's the two wires and they're joined together opposite ends are joined together here in the middle and then the other two wires become the input or output for the coil um, that allows uh, me to capture energy from this plasma bulb um, which is in essence just a tesla coil in in a vacuum so um, there's there's nothing special there however the coil and the bifiler coil is responsible for creating a radio frequency um, which it needs to be demonstrated how that frequency has access to everything it goes straight through your body it uses you as a ground to earth um, and so we'll demonstrate here with these two jumper leads um, it's just a normal LED there and this is I mean it's obviously just two jumper leads arranged side by side not in any coil formation it just sort of to demonstrate um, uh, electron flow and it might be happening even when you're not aware of it and to watch out for the dangers of that all right so if we turn on the plasma bowl okay so pretty much everything becomes electrified when it, when that field is running the bulb itself emits a, a much smaller much weaker field but when it's given a way to get to earth like this is um, through this coil then that field intensifies and that radio field becomes quite wide so we're coming out of this 100 turn coil we're going into the red jumper lead which follows onto a light i just put a piece of foam over it because otherwise no one can see what we're doing uh, a load is isn't absolutely necessary uh, in the form of a light um, you can connect this directly to ground I've got a capacitor here I just wrapped it around this light bulb just to show that there is a high high voltage frequency there uh, being able to light up that um, 220 volt fluorescent light so yeah we come uh, out of the bulb out of the coil into the load and then out to ground now ground in this case is only a 100 meter roll of um, speaker wire i've just twisted both wires together so for anybody who's thinking oh i live in an apartment i can't get a wire down to the earth um, tesla stated on many occasions that an artificial earth is created by having 30 feet of wire 
insulated wire suspended above earth so you know run that around your room uh, just keep in mind though that every piece of wire as I'm about to demonstrate becomes a radio receiver and uh, depending on your arrangement could be lethal so all right so here we can see with just those two cables that you would just naturally assume well there's no it's not going to be any light there um, it just wouldn't like you would need a significant coil of, of some better design than just two wires like that um, however the way I have come to understand electron movement is purely through potential um, if one wire has more potential than the other then those electrons are going to want to move and it really does not matter uh, about your load in, in, in between they're going to move through that load whether they um, make the load operational or, or you know in, whether it lights up or not so you would assume like I said before you would need a, a special coil so if we just move this one cable because these cables are lying side by side and they're the same length they have the same frequency and there's no need uh, and the same potential because they're practically as close to the source as as each each wire is the same distance from the source roughly so however if we take this yellow lead even me just touching it creates a potential difference if we just move it even a tiny bit from the other cable it creates a potential difference one has more energy or sorry a higher voltage in it than the other wire and so that causes electron flow so if we just simply put that on the other side we have a flow of electrons um, it really just doesn't get any simpler than this and that's part of the success of keeping this hidden from us is that this is so simple we would have to be stupid not to have seen this and you know we can go into the whole oppression of uh, the tyranny system that is evolved around money or we could open our eyes and listen to what was um, told to us so many years ago when a man says that he has no vested interest and wants to give this information to the entire world for free and electricity should be free and a banking institution says no and says that that requires a much smarter greater mind have we not been lied to I mean you've really got to ask yourself what else have they told us that was absolute rubbish you know we've got high high voltage around that just a single wire it doesn't it doesn't even require a um it doesn't even require an earth it just requires potential difference the difference in this wire being further from the source than this wire if i touch this wire we'll see an increase in intensity and light so I, I could apply an earth here and this this uh, extra alligator clip is uh, connected to my rubbish bin so you know anybody who says oh I can't 
I can't get to, you know, a wire down the ground. I live in an apartment or something, a high rise, or I can't get a wire down to earth. This is just a jumper lead connected to my bin. You know, this is not rocket science. This just takes an open mind. So if we move on to the consideration of safety now, and that would be probably their only reason for denying this information from us, is that this can create a hazard. This can uh, basically use the mass of any suitable material that's nearby. This is a, a 90 volt 90 volt to a thousand volt AC volt alert meter it basically goes off its chops if it recognizes anything uh, above 90 this is a battery that's not connected to anything as you can see it has a, a pretty intense field, a coil nearby that's not connected to anything. Also has that very intense field. Um, this here is just a, um, a radiant energy collector. I can stick that on the, on the blade there. And we can get that to light up if I stand and make my own shadow. It, we can see that a bit easier so don't be fooled into thinking your environment is safe and this is why I would suggest to people it's not safe to use your meters and don't trust your meter um, you know these things are not designed for this radio frequency and so people say all the time I see it on other people's YouTube channels, oh, could you just put a meter on it and give me some idea of, you know, what currents and voltages we're playing with here? Um, but quite frankly, you, you can't do that. I mean, this thing's reading a voltage out of the air, and it's not the meter, it's got nothing to do with the meter. The meter, when used for what it was designed for, which was not radio frequency it, it works perfectly fine I put on the oscilloscope for this meter yeah it, it basically will display so if I uh, use these the, use this these two wires and create a potential difference and we're not even connecting to this meter we're just leaving it sit there and you can see that my hand being there changes the frequency you know the if i connect this to the meter it's going to change the values of everything this meter is currently receiving a radio signal from the plasma bulb and the coil so if we connect that you'll see a change in the light even just me touching it changes the intensity if I remove that I'm trying to keep the camera still I apologize for my poor camera work um, so if we disconnect that one and replace this one on, which would be considered negative in earth uh, just based on the diode on the LED itself um, you know if I put my hand near that meter I become part of the capacitive circuit and so 
it all changes and so for people to say, oh could you just put a meter on it there is no point it just if you can trust that meter is not affected by radio frequency which we've just displayed everything is affected by radio frequency then if you want to trust it go go for it but it just does not display what you think it's displaying and so it can be an illusion and we can often go well it's not working because of the meter and if we just remove the meter you find out oh hang on there is electricity there and it is it's not because of my poorly built coil it's because of my poor education that was all forced upon us I don't know people well, I think we've got to wake up anyway the, the main main reason for doing this is to show you that your environment could be alive if you're playing with these circuits for example if you had a capacitor here with um, you know the right arrangement like two wires and you thought it was safe to leave it like that because it's not connected to anything but it's building up capacity and it's doing it fast you know if we can have over in this battery here all the way over here away from the plasma yeah what, what what's going on there yeah so don't assume you're safe be sensible we can take advantage of of you know this electricity that's everywhere but we do need to be respectful it, it will kill you if you get a capacitor sitting there it picks up a stray field it might be the last thing you do all right thanks for watching everyone have a good day um, I hope this doesn't discourage anyone from having a go at, at building something like this. I mean, this the ultimate purpose for this is an alternative light source that that um, you can just run off of a 12 volt battery. This this is currently running off of um, off of the wall, 240 volt, but that. Uh, is converted down to 12 volts to run the plasma lamp so cut that cable connect it to a 12 volt battery you've got that running uh, you know for a very very small wattage and you've got yourself a an alternative off-grid light source that will keep you um, out of the dark for quite a few hours but yeah the things we don't know potential difference give it somewhere to go and it will go all right thanks for watching everyone